Sony recently just announced the launch of their RX100 Mark VI. And they sent me one to familiarize myself with so next week I can do a live stream on it. They also told me how I am one of the only YouTubers in the world to have one. So here is one of the first, first looks of the RX100 Mark VI. Okay guys, so we just made it to Washington Square Park and I am now shooting on the Sony RX100 Mark VI. We're shooting at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And before we go into some more of the specs of this, I wanted to give you guys a little B-roll. In the heat from a hot California I forgot how you look like in rain I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good So I am here with my intern and fellow filmmaker Chris. Chris also makes YouTube videos and knows cameras very well. So I have him here to help me not give a review since we've only used this thing for what? It's been like 10 minutes. Yeah. But I wanted to do first looks and just talk about what, what we saw in it so far. So here it is, the Sony RX100 Mark VI. The first thing that I noticed about it that made it different than the other ones is that it has this built-in tripod that it comes with, also fit in your pocket, and you can record movie, photo, and you can even zoom in and out with this. So it's just a perfect little tripod, and also it's a good selfie stick as well. Let me take a selfie. So one thing that I saw that Sony did in comparison to their previous versions of the Mark V and below is that their lens would only go from 24 millimeters to 70. And I'm gonna do a little sort of visual test right here. This goes from 24 millimeters all the way out to 200. So you basically have a telephoto lens in your pocket, which is absolutely insane. I love filming with the A7R 3 right now, but it's big and bulky and hard to do when you're trying to pump out so much content that requires a lot of moving around the city or traveling. Can you get yourself waving? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Alright, good. We're using that. So I used to have the RX100 Mark V and I'm 99% sure that this is the first of its kind to have not just the flip out screen but one that goes 90 degrees angles so that you can get food vlogging shots or anything that requires you to shoot straighting down. By the way guys, really good coffee. So the thing what... What's up man? Why did that guy want a picture of you? I have no idea. Okay, so you're probably wondering which should you buy? A mirrorless camera like the a6500 or the RX100 Mark VI? And I think each camera obviously has their different pros and cons. And why I'm still probably going to be using this guy when I'm traveling and in New York City on a day-to-day -day basis is because it has the external microphone for it so I can record better audio and also has the wide-angle lens. But if you factor in the price for lenses and the microphone, you're looking at about double the cost of this guy. And this camera, which already comes with a tripod and also the lens that's a 24 to 200, just makes it way easier to use than investing so much money into lenses like this, where you need a wide angle lens. I think this one's like $800, then my 55 millimeter is about 900. So it gets pretty pricey when you factor in all the lenses you're gonna need. But this is just your straight shot, perfect starter camera, and not just good for a starter cam, but something that you can get a lot of cinematic shots with. And I do want to include, for a camera that is a point and shoot like this one, the audio is very well. So we're going to do a quick test just so you guys can get a better feeling of the audio. So this is using the RX100 Mark VI and even in New York City, which is pretty noisy back behind me, I think the audio should hold up pretty fine. And the other thing that I did want to mention about this camera is, of course, that it has the flip out screen. On the A7R 3 over here, it doesn't have that. And also on the A6500, you don't have the flip out screen. So it's nice to be vlogging while looking at myself and making sure I'm in focus and in the frame. The other thing that's different about the Mark VI from the Mark V is that this has a four-point image stabilization and that was always my biggest concern because I'm using this while vlogging and most likely walking around. So I'm gonna showcase it while Chris is playing this piano that we just found on the street. <laughs> So guys, 
guys, the reason why I would go with the RX100 Mark VI is mainly because of the image stabilization and also, I'm gonna sneeze. That's a weird double sneeze. So guys, this is the first look at the Sony RX100 Mark VI. I know I didn't get to use it too much, so I don't have too much to review, but I hope you got some value out of this video, and I think that this is a very good bet. If you wanna start making vlogs, or essentially if you want a camera that you can just take out of your pocket and have amazing image quality, this is your best bet. And I will leave a link down below that has more information and all the specs on this camera, but I did wanna say before I end this video that next week I'm gonna be starting a travel series. I don't know exactly where I'm going yet, but it's gonna start in Canada, so I'm gonna be going to Toronto I think next week. If you live there, hit me up on Instagram, maybe we can link up, and then gonna be traveling across Europe into Asia, still TBD, but stay tuned for an epic travel series, and I'm so to have this bad boy to help document. So until next time, remember to get out and get busy and get the RX100 Mark VI. Bye guys.